Are you ready to get triggered? Are you ready? Nintendo fucking sucks. Hey, it's Jeremy here, and welcome to Slash Opinion. Today I'm going to be talking about how much I think Nintendo sucks nowadays. Um, you know, Nintendo's had a lot of success with a lot of good games recently. Um, obviously Pokemon Go is a big deal. Um, and Pokemon Sun and Moon looks like it's going to be great. Uh, a lot of good exclusives on the Wii U. Um, but the problem is, is that Nintendo sucks. And I'm not saying that baselessly. I'm saying that Nintendo sucks because they don't get it. They don't get anything. They're trying to be original about the games they create, but they're really they're really not treading any new land. The only game that I see right now that's truly innovative that they're even trying to put out is Zelda Breath of the Wind. It's very, very nicely done, open, open-ended, but the problem with that is, is that's still not that original of an idea. They're not doing anything new. They're not creating anything interesting. And the Wii U was one of the biggest disasters I've ever seen. I bought the Wii U, I enjoyed the crap out of the Wii U, but you know what I did with my Wii U? I used it as a premium game emulator, an NES friggin' N64 GameCube whatever emulator. I don't think it had GameCube games, ignore me. But I use it as an emulator for games. Now I want to talk about something in particular. So someone created a 30 year anniversary Metroid 2 remake on today, of the on the anniversary of Metroid. And so this game was really nice, it was really well made, and uh, props to the developer for making it. Nintendo issued, not only did they not release any sort of news towards any new Metroid games or anything like that today, but they ordered a DMCA takedown on the official website of this thing. That's fucking ridiculous! Because not only did they do that, they did it coldly. Nothing else, just a DMCA. They took the site down. They ordered it to be taken down. Nothing else. No, sorry, we have some stuff in the works you might like. The truth is, the cold hard truth is, if you like Nintendo and you want a new Metroid game, the truth is, Nintendo doesn't give a shit about what you want. They're not interested in Metroid. They're not interested in a new take of Met Metroid whatsoever. They don't have any interest in it, which is absurd to me. Metroid's a great IP. I personally haven't really played Metroid very much, so I can't really, I can't speak grandly about it, but Metroid is a fine IP. In fact, it's probably the most accessible IP they have for the hardcore gamers. It doesn't make any sense that they're not using it. Metroid is an is a shooter. It's a it's a it's a it's a side-scrolling shooter, and it's it's such a good creative and easy slate that they could do anything with. So what do they do? Last ball. They create Rocket League. That's all they did. Not even Rocket League. It's pretty much just fucking soccer. It's really lame. And in my honest opinion, it's about time that we stopped giving Nintendo a free pass for everything. We've done it enough, and I'm sick of it, honestly. Because the truth is, I don't think they've learned, and I don't think they're going to learn. They need a serious changing of the guard before anything actually changes, and before good content starts coming out from them again. Because, I don't know if you've listened to the leaks of what the Nintendo NX is going to be like, it's a hybrid handheld that you can use at home as a home console, but you can take outside with you. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but it's just a step up from the Wii U. And the, the problem with that, to me, at its core, is the fact that that's still not what the mass audiences want. There's not enough. They're 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 talking about how they they choose uh they choose style over uh, over substance. And in the case that I'm talking about here, that means curation over power. It means the the ability to create good games, but not to do it on a powerful console. But in my opinion, those things come hand in hand. You need power on a console. Why is it that the consoles that have will have come out four years ago? when the NX comes out, will still be more powerful than the NX. This is a fact. The PlayStation 4 will be more powerful than the NX, which hasn't even come out yet. That is absurd. It's ridiculous that this kind of stuff is still going on. The fact that all these years later after the Wii U and after the you know, the Wii, the Wii was good. It was okay. I mean, I didn't personally like it. I wasn't into all the gimmicky, uh, all the, the Wii fit and all that stuff like that. But that's, I understand why people bought into it. It was like the mobile gaming market. They basically cashed in on the people who would play mobile games before mobile games were even a thing. And with the Wii U, they were like, oh, we'll just make a tablet so that they can really just play it. But people have mobile mobile phones for that. They don't need a tablet for it. They don't need something designed for it. So they went into the mobile gaming industry. And guess what? They only got 10% of the profits of the game that sold like hotcakes on the market. And I don't mean literally sold, obviously. It's uh, microtransactions in the game. They only get 10% of the profits of Pokemon Go. 
How does that make sense? In my, in my, in my true opinion, I know the series is called Slash Opinion and I throw the word opinion around a lot. In my opinion, if Nintendo does not course correct within the next five years, we'll be looking at Mario and Zelda games on the Xbox and the PlayStation. That's my opinion and I'm sticking to it.